Hey! Hi! How you doing? This is the Gamertron and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. It's finally done, everyone. The bestiary is now complete. Equal. We have five. Count them. Five. Deadly. Destructive. Dreadful. Monsters. Evolve now finally has five playable monsters. And let me tell ya, as a big fan of this game, as a lover of Evolve, I can't tell ya how long I've been waiting to make this video, and tell you guys who are my top five favorite monsters from Evolve. Now before we get started, please keep in mind, I love all five of these monsters, I love playing as all five of these monsters. I don't think one is better than the other, I'm just making this video and listing them off for fun. Now, let's not waste any more time and let us begin with my top five favorite monsters from Evolve. Number 5, Behemoth. The big bad beastie with the most health and armor in the game, although moves the slowest compared to his brother and sisters. But what Behemoth lacks in agility, he more than makes up for it in brute strength, durability, and powerful abilities that alter the battlefield itself. Behemoth is this nasty combination of rocks, magma, and monster guts. If he's not burning the hunters with magma bomb and fissure, he's scooping them up with his enormous and lengthy tongue. And if mouth-to-mouth -mouth combat fails, Behemoth will literally turn the very earth against the hunters, with his probably most popular and unique ability, Rock Wall, which literally alters the environment to suit Behemoth, either separating the hunters from him or separating a hunter from the group. Just looking at Behemoth, you wouldn't think him to be such a versatile combatant. You'd think him more of a vicious brute. And while you wouldn't be entirely wrong, you wouldn't be entirely right either. Behemoth is supposed to suit the role of tank in the group of monsters. He is the tankiest monster. He is the ultimate tank, but for being a tank, he has some really versatile abilities. Not just his main abilities, but his movement ability, which literally has him roll up into a giant boulder, which is not only an incredibly fun way of moving around the maps, but a great way to engage the hunters in combat as well. What can I say? I like to rock and roll with Behemoth. Number 4, Gorgon. The newest and latest entry into this nightmarish family. Gorgon has certainly earned her place on the monster team, being one of the most versatile and unique and diverse of all the monsters. However, she is also the most complicated and challenging monster to play as. Where all the monster characters focus on combining their abilities, creating combos with their different abilities and melee attacks, with Gorgon that is more prevalent than ever. And not just that, Gorgon is a medic's worst nightmare. Medics on the hunter team, beware the Gorgon. Because poison, venom, toxin. You know that deadly effect that slowly kills your team over time? Yeah, Gorgon's got that in spade. Two of her abilities are focused on poisoning the hunters and dealing damage to all of them over time. With her abilities like Web Snare that not only poison the hunters, but slow them down. Acid Spit, which is essentially Gorgon just puking everywhere, puking venomous acidic spit everywhere. Basically creating a no-fly zone wherever she puked. And then we got Gorgon using some summoner tactics with Spider Trap and Mimic. Spider Trap, which can be deadly and incredibly frustrating for the hunter team. As that little spider minion snatches up a hunter, takes them away while doing damage to them, and Gorgon can still damage them while they're in the spider trap. Or Mimic, which if used properly, essentially lets you do more damage to the hunters without doing damage to yourself. And usually with an area effect, almost always damaging the whole team with melee attacks and the end all explosion of said Mimic. Then we got Gorgon's unique 
unique movement abilities which essentially make her Spider-Man, or Spider-Woman in this case. Being able to web sling from one corner of the map to the other, and is the only monster that can literally hang on walls and ceilings, which is great for stealth and ambushes. And then we have her design, which is a wonderfully horrific take on a giant alien bug. Just when you thought you've seen all the alien bugs you could ever see, along comes Gorgon to remind you, giant alien bugs can still be terrifying and creative. So welcome to the team, Gorgon, you newbie. You're a uh, lovely addition. Number three, Kraken. Release the Kraken. All right, that's out of the way. You good? We good? Okay, we're good. So yes, Kraken. Everybody's favorite Baby Cthulhu Lightning Mage. The only monster of the team to specifically focus on ranged attacks and is also technically the only monster that can actually friggin' fly. Which is kind of bizarre when you think about it, the creature that looks most like an aquatic creature, a squid, is the one that can fly. Eh? This is what you get with giant alien monsters. However, setting all alien strangeness aside, Kraken is such a powerhouse of a monster and is probably the most preferred and favored monster in the Evolve community, and for good reason. Kraken's abilities are all deadly, ranged, all have area of effect damage potential, and when used in the right combination with one another, can completely wipe out a team of hunters in electric explosive death. With abilities like Lightning Strike and Vortex that can do massive amounts of damage to a single hunter or a group if they're close enough together. And even though Kraken is mostly a ranged monster, you don't want to get close to him when he's using his Aftershock ability, which with proper timing can do a ton of damage to the entire team. Usually you want to get as close to the monster as possible to do damage to it, but then Kraken uses Aftershock and you all start running for the hills. And then Kraken's most unique ability, Banshee Mines. Kraken's only deployable ability, and this ability, if used properly, can make for a great distraction, crowd control, or just piling on the damage in a vicious assault. There's a reason everybody loves Kraken. He has an awesome design, awesome abilities, and even though he was one of the original monsters revealed for Evolve, he still remains one of the most unique with his specific skills, making him more of a ranged caster character. Number 2, Wraith. The glass cannon and stealthy rogue of the monsters. Wraith does the most melee damage, she's the stealthiest of the monsters, and she's fast really damn fast. Like, blink and you miss her fast. She can be an absolute terror to any hunter team, and a real power trip to anyone playing as her. With all of her abilities focusing on dealing heavy damage, being very fast, and screwing with the hunter's minds. With abilities like Warp Blast, where Wraith can literally come out of nowhere like a friggin' missile and just damage the entire team. Or her ability Supernova, which creates an area of effect where the speed of her melee attacks is almost infinitely increased. Those giant claws she has already do enough damage, now imagine them moving at the speed of light. And then we have more stealthier, trickier abilities, like Abduction and D decoy, abduction, where you literally can abduct a hunter from a great distance away. However, this ability can be quite tricky, requiring precise aiming. But when you pull it off, it can really mess with a hunter team, and do a decent amount of damage to a particular hunter. And then we have my absolute favorite ability, decoy, where you spawn, well, a decoy. But not only does the decoy turn you invisible once you spawn it, it also has a mind of its own and will go off to attack hunters and dangerous wildlife, essentially adding some extra damage on top of your damage once it's done. Decoy is such an endlessly useful ability. And lastly, we come to Wraith's actual design, a horrific, slick, stylish, and nightmarish monster design with tentacles, spikes, and everything that's not so nice. Wraith is both a perfect and terrifying combination of everything that makes a monster. 
And my number one monster from Evolve is... Well, you already know, there's only five monsters, I just counted down four. Obviously, the last one's gonna be the one not named. <sighs> it's Goliath. Goliath was the first. Goliath is the cover boy of Evolve. And the inspiration from Goliath's design came from the two greatest movie monsters of all time, Godzilla and King Kong, with some alien and predator mixed in there. To create a unique, memorable, and downright threatening look for Goliath. And Goliath is a great monster to play as, he's a fun monster to play as, he's never not been with a heavy focus on melee combat and really getting in the hunter's faces. Unleashing your inner monster. Another great aspect about Goliath is all of his abilities can perform AOE damage and hurt multiple hunters at once. For example, with Goliath's ground slam and charge, which not only can be used tactically for movement, escaping, ambushing, but can also just simply get you straight into the fight. Then we have Goliath's more projectile abilities, rock throw and fire breath. These abilities, which can do a ton of damage to a single hunter or the entire group, if timed and aimed correctly. And here's the thing, despite Goliath being the starter monster, the first monster, he is by no means a pushover. Goliath is effective and has always remained effective. And despite the hunters getting reinforcements, new characters, buffs, reworks, variations, standard vanilla Goliath can still hold his own. Goliath being the brawler of the monster group, focusing on melee and pure brute force and rage. When it comes to his design, his playstyle, his abilities, I never not have fun playing as Goliath. He is my favorite monster, but again, I love all the monsters, but if you put a gun to my head and said, who is your favorite monster from Evolve? I would have to answer Goliath. So anyways, that's been a video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did indeed enjoy the video for any reason whatsoever, please hit the like button. Hitting the like button helps you, helps me, helps everybody involved with the video. If you hit the like button, please leave a comment. What are your thoughts, feelings, and opinions on this video? What are your thoughts, feelings, and opinions on the monsters from Evolve? I'd love to hear your thoughts, feelings, and opinions in the comment section below. I'll get nearly enough comments. I love reading comments. Please leave a comment. And finally, I'm Gamertron. I love video games. I love talking about video games. And if that's something that interests you, maybe consider supporting my channel by subscribing to me. Anyways, guys, this has been a video, and I will see you guys later. Later.